हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक यू ऑल टू आर एन सी आर टी इंटरेक्टिव सेशन दिस साइड शिवानी झा एंड यू ऑल आर वॉचिंग अस ऑन पी एम ए विद्या चैनल नंबर टेन सो डी ऑल स्टूडेंट्स एंड आर लर्नर्स टूडे वी हैव ब्रॉट अ वेरी अमेजिंग टॉपिक फॉर क्लास टेंथ स्टूडेंट्स एंड दिस होल सब्जेक्ट ऑन विच वी आर गोइंग टू टिल टमोरो इज इंग्लिश एंड द टॉपिक इज द सर्मन एट बनारस एंड टू अलाबोरेट दिस वी हैव ऑल्सो ज्वाइन बाई आर स्पेशल गेस्ट टूडे सो लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस टू हर टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो शी इज मिस वैशाली दुबे हु इज टीचर एट एस के वी माता सुंदरी रोड न्यू डेली सो अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम मैम टू आर सेशन थैंक यू सो मच शिवानी so dear all students uh, before we move further let me tell you that if you have any query or doubt related to this session this particular session you can directly contact us through our phone number or email id our phone number is 8880440559 also you can drop your query on our mail id that is dth.class10@ciet.nic.in so before um, we move further let me also tell you the topic on which we are going to uh, talk tomorrow is very special so firstly i would like to ask ma'am so ma'am what we are going to learn in this particular story so could you please define our students about this yes sure hello yes. learners i hope all of you are doing good and the topic for today's session is the sermon at banaras okay so before jumping on to the story and like going to the summary or discussing the topic in detail i would like you to think and tell me what the sermon at banaras basically means what could be the meaning of the title of the story i would like you to guess if you can guess okay so ma'am according to me like uh, if i tell you what the sermon mean according to me it's maybe a guy or person who is going to banaras and feel everything uh, around her or him so okay is it's it right or yeah. not <laughs> it's quite close actually okay uh, let me elaborate on the title the sermon at banaras so there are two main words in the topic okay. the sermon and banaras banaras right yeah so the word sermon means any talk or any lecture which is basically religious or moral based okay okay and banaras as you all know banaras yes, is a very so religious right. yes it's a very famous hmm. city and it's very religious hmm. so the title itself says that the sermon at banaras means a sermon which was delivered at the city of banaras, banaras. so now i think the title is clear to all of you yes so if you can guess who delivered the sermon at banaras so uh who could be ma'am it yeah so now i would like to give you some hint okay so we can see on our screen it's gautam budh right right ma'am this is the yes. uh this is like uh, gautam uh, uh, buddha and uh, what we can say another thing related to this exactly so the sermon at banaras was delivered by gautam buddha hmm. and here in this chapter we'll be discussing about what the sermon was and what did he tell in that sermon okay so let's hmm. go to the chapter in detail okay sure ma'am okay so shall we start sure okay so uh, as i already discussed sermon means a speech or a talk on a religious or a moral topic and before going to what the sermon was let me tell you something about gautam buddha so okay. gautam buddha began his life as a prince he was not a buddha at the beginning of his life he was a prince and his name was siddharth gautam and he was born in northern india and after, at the age of 12 he was sent for his schooling and when he returned back to his home after 4 years okay so he got married to a princess he ha they had a son and his life was going well he was away from all the worldly sufferings he did not know what suffering was but one day what happened when he went for hunting so he chanced upon a sick man and then an aged man and then a funeral procession and finally a monk who was begging for alms right. so he did not know who the, who these people were hmm. so these were all the people who were suffering and 
so this made him to realize that the world is more than the four walls of his palace and he went out in search of enlightenment and he wandered for seven years and then after that he sat down under a tree and that tree was a people tree and when he sat down for meditation he attained enlightenment after seven days and later on that tree was renamed as the bodhi tree bodhi basically means the tree of wisdom. wisdom yes so and then he came to be known as the buddha after attaining the enlightenment and the term buddha means the enlightened one okay so this was the basic introduction about gautam buddha hmm. and now we can come to the the sermon or the story which is the main crux of this chapter okay ma'am yeah so uh, i would summarize the sermon for you this story is about a lady and her name is kisa gotmi so she had one son and the only son of that lady had died so what happened so she was in all sorrow and grief and she was very helpless she did not know what to do then she rushed to all her neighbors house so she asked them if they could help the help her and if they could make her dead son alive hmm. but that was not possible yes ma'am yeah so she met a man uh, who told her that i can send you to a person who is a physician who can cure your dead son oh that's really amazing and unbelievable yeah it's yeah. unbelievable right. and but but she was in grief she was right. in deep sorrow hmm. she believed it hmm. so so that man told her to visit gautam buddha and okay. so when she went to buddha he said i can cure your son but for that i need a handful of mustard seeds and that lady believed okay let me just go and i will just get a handful of mustard seeds hmm. and my son would be alive again but what happened he added one clause he said you have to procure the mustard seeds from some house where nobody had died so but yes again she believed everything and then she went from one house to the other seeking for a handful of mustard seeds and she said that i need a handful of mustard seeds but when she asked those people in the houses that like if there is someone uh, if this is the house where nobody has died right it's um, impossible ma'am it is impossible right. and hmm. therefore she was not able to find any such house exactly Hmm. and at last she, uh, she was very tired she was hopeless and then she sat down along the road side and she started looking at the lights in the city so what happened next was like while she was looking at the lights in the city so she saw the lights were flickering so they were flickering and after some times the lights went off so then she realized like i am being very selfish and death is inevitable it cannot be avoided all the people who are born in this earth and we are mortals we are bound to die one day we right. cannot live uh, for uh, like we cannot live beyond death death is inevitable everybody has to die so this is what the buddha wanted to preach her that even if you grieve even the if you are about life and our life system right right, ma right. Hmm. so even if you grieve if you even if you lament over something but you you cannot undo this exactly and he has even compared uh, the mortals with the ripe fruits like the ripe fruits are in the danger of falling they have to fall one day right similarly hmm. all the earthen vessels which are made by a potter they have to they will break some day similarly are human beings they will die some day sure and yes. any wise man who is uh, who who has this uh, enlightenment will not grieve on something like death he knows that he cannot undo this is something which cannot be avoided so yes this was the sermon which basically teaches about the life death sufferings mortality all these things about human beings okay so this is all about the story ma'am yes okay so ma'am by reading this whole story 
here's a question which comes upon my mind that uh, what uh, message do we get from Gautam Buddha life? So, can we discuss on it? Yes, yeah, sure. Gautam Buddha told us how to live. See, he was an enlightened one. He yes. had attained enlightenment. He was awakened. Exactly. And he preached so many things to the humans. Because we as humans, we do not think about these things. We, we will sit and cry for something. Like exactly. Hmm. We will sit and cry over something which we have lost. But he taught us that this is something is inevitable and human beings are born to suffer. Hmm. Suffering comes with life and one day all of us have to die. So, these are some of the teachings which Buddha had taught. And it's a great lesson for nowadays. Yes. Like we compare with nowadays like persons and uh, uh, every people who think a lot about their life. So, it will be a very great lesson. So, ma'am, what we are going to cover next in our chapter? Next, we'll be covering up some more MCQs. Okay. And I would like you to guess the answers okay, because you sure. have listened to the entire story now. Sure, ma'am. Let me share some multiple choice questions with you. Alright, so the first question is, what is the meaning of the word Buddha? So, the options are the beautiful one, the awakened or the enlightened one. The one with superpowers or the blessed one? Okay, so ma'am, it uh, will be uh, option number B, the awakened or the enlightened one. Exactly. So I want all the learners to also guess the answers because the answers were hidden in the summary itself. So right. you can easily guess the answers. Next one is, what was the childhood name of Gautam Buddha? So we have uh, four options. First is Sindhu, second is Sadhu, third is Siddhant and fourth is Siddharth. So according to me, the option fourth is correct, Siddharth. Very true. The option fourth, yes. Siddharth Gautam was his full name. Exactly. Next one is, where did Gautam Buddha preach his first sermon? So the answer is in the title itself. Yes. The options are Chennai, Banaras, Patliputra and Rishikesh. So... Yes, so the answer is itself uh, like title, it's Banaras. Exactly. Next one is, under which tree did the Buddha sit? So the options are Neem tree, Peepal tree, Banyan tree and Mango tree. According to ma'am, uh, according to me, it's Banyan tree? It was a Peepal tree. Okay, it was story. Peepal tree. Okay, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, so later that tree was named as the Bodhi tree. Hmm. So, now what could be the meaning of the term Bodhi tree? Uh, we have four options again. Tree of health, tree of wealth, tree of wisdom <coughs> and tree of power. So, the answer could be tree of wisdom. Right. right. Okay. So, we will, next we have question. So, ma'am, could you In read? how many days did the Buddha get enlightenment? So, the options are 5 days, 6 days, 7 days or 15 days. Uh, is it 7? Yeah, okay. it is 7 <laughs> days. <laughs> Quite intelligent student. <laughs> <laughs> so, next we will move to our next question and ma'am what it is? Yeah, it is at what age was Gautam Buddha sent away for schooling? So, it is 10 years, 12 years, 14 years or 16 years. So, uh, it might be 14. Uh, it is 12 years. Okay, 12 years. Yeah. So, the answer was in the summary. Okay. Next question we have. Uh, what is the world afflicted with? First one is joy, wisdom, death and decay or wealth? Uh, it is wisdom or it, death and decay. Yeah, the second answer is okay, correct. Okay, death and decay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, next one is, why was Kesa Gautami sad? Why was she sad? What did she lose? She lost her property or her only son had died or she was beaten up or she was ill. Uh, so ma'am, as we have read in our story, option B that is her only son had died could be the right answer. Yes, it is the right answer. Next and the last question is, what did the flickering lights make her realize? What did she realize while she was sitting at the roadside and looking at the lights of the city? Death is common to all. 
she is being selfish men are mortals or all of the above so according to me ma'am as we have read the whole story hmm. so all these three options are correct according to this question right all these options are correct while she yeah. was sitting and she had all these thoughts okay so what we are going to cover next ma'am next i have the answer key and then okay. i have a few new words and i want all the learners see these are the words which have occurred in the story and i want all the learners if they can read these words learn their pronunciation and also find these words out of the dictionary with their meaning so these are new words you can add to your vocabulary and you can also learn the meanings okay so ma'am could we also tell the meaning of these words to our students yes of course uh, enlightenment means awakening of the soul and as we have seen in this chapter buddha is an awakened one so yeah. enlightenment is related to that and inscrutable means something which cannot be avoided or separated next is procure procure means to obtain something desolation is isolation or disparity next is lamentation lamentation means uh, crying over something kinsman means all the relatives or the friends and flicker means to uh, light up and then blur out the light Okay, so ma'am, now I wanted to ask that uh, is there any message that we can give our student by reading the whole story? Of course, we can. So, uh, what Buddha wanted to teach through this is like there are certain things which cannot be avoided, okay, and which hmm. are not in our hands. So, hmm. we should not be worrying about those things. So, similarly, I would like to tell all the learners that. certain things are in our hands while certain things are not in our hands and if we sit and worry about all those things which get, which we cannot control we'll be losing our time we'll be losing our health and also we'll be sad all the time so i think we should do what is in our hands we should work and we should leave some things to the fate also and we can only contain uh, control the things which are in our hands Okay so ma'am is there any other question which you wanted to tell to our student yes mm -hmm. i have a yeah. few follow up questions as okay. well so these are two follow up questions which i would like to share with the learners and they can read the text again and again and then they can come up with the answers of course so the two questions are first one is why do you think people grieve at the death of their loved ones so we know death is something yes. uh, which is a thing of very great sorrow and right. and because they love the person yes right hmm. and if that person is gone and that person will not never come back hmm. so why do you really think that people grieve at the death of their loved ones and uh, the second question is what did the buddha want kisa gautami to understand when he asked her to procure the mustard seeds So the answer was there in the summary itself but yes. I would like the students to please ponder upon these points okay yeah so these are the questions and uh, we would like to end the session here only and I would like to thank firstly our expert who joined us today so thank you so much ma'am for joining You're us today welcome. and uh, it was literally a very great session with you So I would like to also thank all of you all the our students and dear learners who joined us today and also let me tell you that after this you can also join our different programs sessions which you can also see on your screen so if i say then by 3:30 to 4 pm you will uh, see science subject and the topic is carbon and its compound and after that you can watch 2:30 pm to 4 pm that is uh, uh fostering personal social qualities for a safe and nurturing school environment and after that you can watch our 4 to 5 pm online training program and after that half an hour program that is 5 to 5:30 pm of our sahyog program and after that you can also watch our 5:30 pm to 6:15 pm that is a session of nipa and this is all about the today's session So thank you all of you for joining us today that's it for today's session thank you and namaskar